Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about the spinal cord and the spinal column and parts of the spinal cord. So first, let's get started. If you'll notice, I have a bunch of squares that are drawn on my board right here. These squares are representative of vertebrae. Vertebrae are the bones of the spine that, make, that protect the spinal cord. The spinal cord is actually inside the uh, vertebrae. So let me give you an idea of what it's like. This is my vertebrae right here. That's my vertebrae, and if you look right here, I have an opening. This, this bone would be the square that I have here, but you're looking at it from this angle here. That's why I drew them square. If we look on the inside now, you'll see we have a hole, and coming through that hole, I can put my pen. That's where your spinal cord would be, is in the center. So you can see this vertebrae is designed to protect the spinal cord. So let's go ahead and take a look. And as we look at this, what happens is in the cervical spine, the first part is called the cervical spine. Okay, this is the cervical spine. Okay, there's my cervical spine. So coming off the, cer uh, the uh, cervical spine, you'll see I have lines that go this way. These are called spinal nerves. Okay, so coming off my cervical spine, I have spinal nerves. In the cervical spine, the spinal nerves are named after the vertebrae below. So you can see this says C1 right here. So this would be my C1 spinal nerve. And I have one on each side. Then if I go right here, I have, this is my C2 vertebrae. C standing for cervical and the second vertebrae. And so you can see that's my second, my second pair of spinal nerves. We call those C2. This would be C3. And you can see this is named after the vertebrae below. And I'm just going to continue going all the way down. Oops. This is C4, C5, C6, C7, and then C8. Okay. So as you can see in my cervical spine, we have eight pairs, we have eight pairs of spinal nerves. Now you'll notice I have a C8, but I don't have a, a C8 spinal nerve, but I don't have a C8 vertebrae, and that's okay. They just still name that one because we're gonna do a transition here. So now this is our thoracic spine, where you see the blue. This is the thoracic spine. Okay. In the thoracic spine, you'll see it goes down to T12. So I have 12 spinal nerves. Okay. NS stands for nerves. If you notice in the thoracic spine, what's going to happen now and the rest of the way down is my spinal nerves are named by the vertebrae above. So now my spinal nerve is right here. This is the vertebrae above that's right here. This is T1, right, on both sides. This is T2. This is T3. And it's going to be like that going all the way down. Now, if you notice, also we're calling a T, because T stands for thoracic. We use C here because C stands for cervical, okay? So I have 12 pairs of spinal nerves in the thoracic spine. Then I'm going to get down here and you'll notice those are L's. And down here, this is my lumbar spine. In my lumbar spine, I have five pairs of spinal nerves. I'm just gonna write SN for spinal nerves. All right? You'll notice this triangle that's down here. This triangle is um, the sacrum. So I also have, um, five pairs of spinal nerves coming off the sacrum. So five pairs of spinal nerves that come off the sacrum. And then I know it's hard to see, but all the way down here, we have our tailbone. We call this the coccyx. And you have one pair of spinal nerves. So I'm just gonna write one pair. We have one pair of spinal nerves all the way over here. So just to reiterate again, the cervical spine is going to have eight pairs of spinal nerves. The thoracic spine has 12 pairs of spinal nerves. 
Lumbar spine has five pairs of spinal nerves. Sacrum has five. Coccyx has one. So if I take these numbers, the eight, 12, five, five, and one, I end up with 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Now, let's look a little bit more at the spinal cord itself, which is over here. So I'm just gonna do some adjustments to my camera real fast. Just slide you guys over here. And now let's take a look. So up here, once again, I have my brain and you'll see coming off of here, I have my C1, C2, C3, C4, and then this is C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. But if you'll notice, this area got larger, right? We call this area the cervical enlargement. This area right here is my cervical enlargement. Okay, it's gonna go from T5, I'm sorry, C5 to T1. Okay, and you'll notice we have the one blue spot here, which just represents T1. Okay, it does motor to the upper limb. That would be your shoulders and your arms. Okay? So that's my cervical enlargement. Now, if you notice, I also have an enlargement down here. This down here is my lumbar enlargement. Okay, your lumbar enlargement, so the books kind of differ on this. Most of them say you start about T11, and I'm gonna say it goes to, down to between uh, L1 and L2. Okay, so I'll go L1, L2. It does motor to, if this was the upper limb, this has to do motor to the lower limb. Okay, so that's gonna be my lumbar enlargement right here. Now, if you notice, my lumbar enlargement starts to get smaller right here. This area right here is gonna be called the conus, uh, the conus medullaris. Okay, it's the conus medullaris. This is just the tip of the spinal cord. If you notice after that, I have these nerves. These nerves actually start coming out about T11. I just have them drawn here starting about L1 or L2 at the end of the conus medullaris. So what's gonna happen at the conus medullaris after that is I'm gonna get the cauda equina. They call it the cauda equina because it looks, they said it looks like a horse's tail. E-Q-U-I-N-A. And this is gonna go once again from about, uh, we'll say L2 to down to the coccyx bone. Okay, down to your coccyx bone, all the way down to the bottom. So again, so this is gonna be the nerves that are going down into your legs also. So as you can see, my spinal cord actually stopped somewhere around L1, L2, somewhere around in there. But for the most part, that's the part of the spinal column. Remember the spinal column is the bone that protects the spinal cord. Spinal cord is made up of nerves. I have the, ver the uh, spinal nerves and the cervical spine are named after the vertebrae below. In the thoracic spine and the rest of the way down, it's named after the vertebrae above. If we look here at the spinal cord, we have um, this, uh, cervical enlargement. My cervical enlargement is gonna be C5 to T1. And it does motor to the upper limb. And then my lumbar enlargement is T11 to L2, somewhere around L1, L2 area. And then I get the conus medullaris where this kind of tapers off. And then we get the cauda equina, which goes down to the legs. So that's it for the spinal cord and spinal column. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please make sure you watch some more of my videos.